Hello. I thought I'd show you um, an art piece a day since I'm here at my house. Um, I'm a photographer, so my studio is partly out there. I'm pointing to my win to my windows to the world. My studio is partly out there, and my studio is also partly my whole house. I um, used to have a desktop I work on, but it's too old Mac. Um, and now I have a laptop I work on, so I can just really work anywhere. Oh, and I just came in from outside, so I got my got my COVID nineteen. Um, anyway, these are my some of my art books, but um, this is a piece. Let me see if you can see it. This is a piece I just picked. Well, I didn't just pick up before COVID nineteen. I just picked it up. Um, it's on wood. It's um, it's metallic paper. I don't remember. <laughs> It's metallic paper um, with a mat, and then this is wood. Um, it's got the hanging wire in the back, so you can just actually hold it up like this. Um, what it is, is um, I used to work in Al Alameda, California, which is, if you're not from here, it's a little island. O o Oakland is on one side, and then there's two bridges that connect it to Alameda, California. And um, I would walk, you know, during my lunch break, I'd walk up and down the streets, and this, this is like her two photos. This photo on top is actually a broken window. So this is like the, the center of the window. This is glass. Um, and you can kind of, so the glass is broken. There, there's, it's boarded up on the back side, right? So this is the wood. This, this color is the wood on the back. Um, and it's um, that uh, particle board and it's been painted this weird color and then somebody went on top and spray painted on top of it so I, I was drawn to it because partly I love layers but also the because they spray painted it part of it was on the glass and part of it was on the wood and I thought that was just kind of cool and um you know on some days like the shadows would also be there too um can't really see it in this piece, but I just love the effects of the wood. You know, the wood is painted two different colors in two different places with the graffiti and the glass and the wood. Um, and it gave me this certain kind of feeling that I didn't feel was conveyed well in just the photo of the window. Um, so I decided I, ha I had already taken pictures of these plants and I decided to add these plants on the bottom to kind of bring forward the feeling I had because I know a lot of people might look at it and see it's just a vandalized window what's so great and when I look at things like this I actually love the um tech the text the textures and the plays of color and it made me very happy to look at this so I wanted to kind of show the feeling I got so that's where this piece came from it was also um in response to a call for art um, for people in addiction recovery, which I am, I'm in recovery. I've been in for like 30, 30 years or more, 30, I don't remember. It's like remembering my birthday at this point. I don't exactly remember how old I am. But, um, so this was supposed to be addiction and recovery. So that's where the title came from. Um, and I've got a few in this series and um, I am, this was done actually quite a while ago, but I'm going to expand on this series. So um, I've just been right now because it's spring. Well, it's, flowers are just starting to bloom, but I'm starting to take more pictures of flowers. I've got so many pictures of graffiti that I can add on to. So that's part of this series. So you'll be seeing more of this. But right now, um, yeah, if you want to buy it, it's going to ship straight from my home or just enjoy looking at it. Okay? All right, bye. See you tomorrow.